Hello, and once again, welcome to Storytime with Teacher Cole. For those who don't know me, I am Teacher Cole, and I am the owner of Teacher Cole's English Corner. It is an online tutoring company where we have many highly educated teachers ready and willing to teach your student English online. And we don't teach English in a boring way. We use exciting, new, relevant materials to teach English in ways that might surprise you, like social studies, cultural events, literature, science, and traditional means as well. But today is another story time, and today we will be featuring one of our TCEC teachers, teacher Tammy. She is one of our supervisor teachers. So let's follow along with teacher Tammy as she reads us a story this week. Let's get going, shall we? Hello, and welcome to Storytime at Teacher Cole's English Corner. My name is Teacher Tammy, and I am going to read you an Aesop's fable. Now, Aesop was a storyteller who lived in Greece a very, very long time ago. And a fable is a story that teaches us a lesson. Let's go and see what we can learn. Our story is called The Lion and the Mouse. It's a hot and sunny and it's sunny this summer's day. Deep in the jungle, the animals say, here comes the lion, the king of this land. He's big and he's strong and proudly he stands. Listen, you all, I'm going to sleep. Be quiet, everybody. Nobody speak. King Lion lies down under the trees, and everyone's quiet, even the bees. There's Mrs. Mouse, a little white thing. She comes out of her house, and she starts to sing. It's sunny, it's warm, it's a wonderful day. Let's go for a swim. What do you say? Be quiet, Mrs. Mouse. Do not stay here. Go back to your house. King Lion is near. Don't worry, he's sleeping. Don't worry, I say. I'm going to be careful. I'll swim far away. So away she goes, she counts one, two, three, and splashes her toes where he cannot see. But soon she forgets the lion is there. She swims very close to the lion's hair. What's that? What's the matter? A noise I hear? My eyes tell me a mouse is near. I'm sorry, O oh lion. I'm sorry, my king. But the summer day is good for a swim. Don't eat me, dear lion. I'll help you one day. Please let me go. What do you say? Ha ha, that is funny. You will help me one day. You're too small for me. Just go far away. A long time later, on another hot day, a noise much greater. The mouse hears far away. She runs to the lion and what does she see? He is in a net hanging under a tree. 
the lion is sad. He roars and he cries. This is so bad. There are tears in my eyes. Don't worry, my friend. Don't worry, my king. Your troubles will end when I bite through that thing. So she starts to bite the ropes of the net and soon he falls through and lands on his head. Thank you, my friend. I won't forget you. We'll always be friends and I'll protect you. You're welcome, dear lion. Now you can see no matter how small a good friend I'll be. People who help us are always there. We may not know it, but still they care. The mouse helps the lion escape from the net. Now they are friends and glad that they met. We have friends who are big. We have friends who are strong. We have friends who are small. Bring them along. When you meet a person, help them. In the end, you may find out that you've got a new friend. So everyone here can see it is true that we need all our friends and that means you. So what did we learn? The lion laughed at the mouse. How can you help me? You're so small. And then when the lion was in trouble, who was the only one that could help him? The small little mouse. It's a good story. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.